Hi everyone. Uh, oh my god. This feels a bit weird to be recording a voiceover uh, after so long. <laughs> I feel like I'm a bit rusty, but uh, let's let's do it. Okay. So I filmed this plan with me in September and that was a month ago. Um, but we're going to put this up there. We're going to do it. You know why? Because it's a fun one. So grab a cup of tea or coffee or whatever you want and play my video in the background while you do something because I'm going to chat with you a lot while I decoratively plan in my spiral recollections planner. So let me set up the scene here before I start chatting. Um, I'm just gonna do a voiceover for the beginning part of this video and then the rest is uh, everything that I said in real time while I filmed. So like I said, this was filmed a month ago. So later on when you hear what I said while filming, I talk about things that have now already passed. For example, uh, I'm gonna talk about our wedding anniversary and the PBC sale. But that's okay because I also chat about things that are relevant like my mental health and how much I love you all and how your comments have helped me so much especially during really sad times. Um, if you're watching this video after seeing my previous one, uh, I just want to say thank you so much for all the comments and the support that you gave me in the last video. It really helped me come out of my shell. And my little niece, Tadrian, she's like, I love her so much. She's one of the loves of my life. Um, she has been bugging me to post a YouTube video and that has really helped. She has helped me come out of my little sad, depressive state that I have been in and she's just been this beam of light and I'm actually <laughs> finally recording this voiceover and I edited this video really because of her being on my butt like every single day for so long. My nephew, her older brother, also tried to motivate me to make videos again because they know it would make me happy and they think, hopefully, they still think that I am like the coolest aunt because I am on YouTube. They're both in middle school. Um, but my niece has been poking me so much to the point where I was willing to edit a video just so she would stop poking me like she texts me every day, which I, I'm so grateful that she does because if she didn't poke me this much, um, I would have just stayed in my little, you know, sad state and she helped me get out of my mind and finally do something that I actually love to do. So yeah, I'm so glad. So thank you, Dadrian and Tanzil, my cute little niece and nephew. I just love you guys so much. Um, if you ever watch this, just remember, I love you. So to the planner world, I hope you don't mind that this video is of me planning in September because almost everything I talk about in this video is still relevant and this kit is also still relevant. So let's just move on and get started. Um, I, in the beginning of the video, while I was doing the voiceover, I was showing you the kit that I'm going to use. This kit is called Monster Mash and it is a collab kit that I created with Shine Sticker Studio and you can find the kit. It's still on my website, themodestcat.com. I am going to keep it up until Halloween, so if you want to pick it up, make sure you grab it before November. The kit has characters from Shine Sticker Studio plus my characters and Shine created their own collab kit with our characters put together and it's super adorable and different than this one. As of the day I'm posting this, they still have their collab kit up on their site, but I'm sure it's available for a limited time like mine, so grab them before they're gone. I'll leave links in the description box. And now I'm gonna end the voice over here and we're gonna move on to real time Bella from when I recorded this. Okay, so. I have, should I put like a little, okay, I think that's good. The thing is like the numbers peek out just a little bit and that kind of bothers me. So I'm going to use white out, uh, but then like this paper is not white, white. Yeah, I can't. I'm just going to have to deal with this. That sucks. Tuesday, Wednesday. 
I love the colors that I chose for this kit. Um, you know I'm a pastel girl. So the only time that I kind of deviate from pastels is during Halloween because I like dark purples and greens for Halloween. So for the artwork I did dark colors to match um, Shine Stickers Luna hair and Star's costume. And then for the headers and everything, I just took those colors and muted it down so that they're pastel. So they all go together. Even though there's bright and pastel, they all go because it's the same uh, color, just muted down, like the same shade. So yeah, the little number peeks out a little, but I have to get over it. <laughs> This is the only planner I have that's a full, like, vertical size. I don't have Erin Condren. And I don't know why Michaels chose to do, like, a bluish white instead of, like, true white. But yeah, okay. I have my date stickers down. I feel like I should just write the dates now instead of waiting. So I'm going to use, um, one of my felt tip pens. This is a point three, and I already forgot what date it was. So okay, so this is the fourteenth. Sixteen. I just this week flew by. so fast. I'm filming this on a Saturday night, the 19th. I just can't believe how fast this week went. Okay, so what should I do next? So I still have, I have these two washies left and I think I'm going to save the puff washi for another spread. Uh, when I make my kiss, kiss, when I make my kits, I try to put more than what you'll need in a kit in one week so that you can stretch your stickers and use them for multiple spreads because I just feel like you know if you're gonna pay money to get a kit it'd be nice if you can use it for more than one spread right uh, so I'm gonna save the puff one maybe I'll put it in one of the headers we'll see I might cut it up um, I'm gonna save the full boxes for now so let's do the bottom washi part because that's the most fun part. So I'm going to use the big size one on here and stick it down. This is so fun. So this is just a zoomed in version of the Monster Mash party that they're having inside the haunted house. I love it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I've been a huge fan of them, Shine Sticker Studio, for years, but I didn't have the courage to like talk to them <laughs> or send them a DM. And I have dreamt of, I feel like I manifested this, y'all, because I've visualized Luna and Star with Mellow my characters for so long in my head and to actually see it come to life it's an amazing feeling I can't even explain it so I wanted to use this bow washi because I feel like the colors just totally match um, this is from Ashley and Liz she's another buddy of mine and this is from her Celeste and Blathers collection yeah, I think that's cute. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this with scissors. She had a Celeste and Blathers collection. I don't know, she, she probably like sold out of this washi. But I'll link her shop 
in my description box in case you want to check out what other washi she has. So I used to do the big washi, bottom washi, which is just like one big old washi that you stick on the bottom. And then um, I switched to doing three washi designs instead because I don't, I normally don't use this size planner. I, I have a B6 from Print Pression that I use. Well, I don't even use that. I bought it. <laughs> uh, I plan to use it. So I thought having the three designs of washi in different sizes is way more versatile and you can do different things because like sometimes you just have other washi that totally would go and you'd want to put it on the bottom. That looks adorable. I love how that looks so far. So cute. One thing I don't like about the Recollections Planner is that there's like space in between so it's not a true 1.5 inch size like there's a gap so if you have double boxes then you have to move it to the side like I did uh, it's it's this minor detail which bothers me but it's not that big of a deal because you can you know plan outside the boxes okay so I think I'm gonna put Dracula and star their little party and the bat box right here. That'll look super cute. Yeah, that looks good. Ooh, I actually put that sticker down on one try. <laughs> Yay! And then I want to put the haunted mansion uh, here on the sidebar. But I don't even know what I want on my sidebar. Maybe some checklists of like important things that I had to do this week. I mean there was so much. There was so much. So yeah. I'll put this haunted box on the sidebar. Right here. And then I'm going to use some of these headers like to buy and don't forget. Maybe I'll do don't forget. Did I buy anything this week? I'll save it for here because this is going to be for, I'm going to use this for my um, shopping list for Planner Boss Collective Sale that I, I'm in this weekend. But I'm going to use it for the shopping list of all the other shops that I want to buy from. So we're going to do this. Don't forget. Should I put it on? Like, how would that look? That would look really cute, right? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to Use some of Ashley's washi right here. And then I'm going to layer it with the sticker. Yeah. I love layering, but I feel like I'm not good at it. Like I have to think hard about how to layer. I was talking to my friend Mishi. Actually, I'll. I'll um, link her channel because she just started doing YouTube videos again actively and I've been loving it. So she does uh, so she does planner videos, planner hauls, and then also she started a BTS journal. So <laughs> I am so in love with her journal. Um, and so I was like, how do you know where to put things? And she's like, I just put them down. Like, it's, like, not even, like, she doesn't even think about it. And for me, I was telling her, I'm like, I can't just put things down. Like, I have to, like, this is what happens in my brain. I will, if I try to do, like, creative journaling, right? Which is why um, I have a sticker journal, because I'm trying to get out of this uh, mindset. So I will stop myself from creating, because I come up with, like, a million different combinations of designs like ways I can design this one page and then I feel frozen and then I don't do anything like for example like right now I'd, I could have been like well I could use this washi and then put this sticker or I can use a different washi I can use the teal one that I have in my stock or the pink one that I have in my stock blah 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 <laughs> and then I end up not doing anything so I was telling Michi that and she's like oh my god I didn't realize that 
it could be hard for people to like just put stickers down. <laughs> yeah, it is hard for some people. That's why I watch tutorials and I love watching Plan With Me's because I get ideas. So this beautiful washi, oh, I'm, like I'm sure it's not coming up because of all the lighting. It has like subtle pastel holographic foiling on it with little stars. This is from my shop. Um, it's part of the Honeydews collection that I have. And I feel like this pink goes perfectly with Luna's hair. And I totally forgot I had it. Now I'm like, oh, I should have used it. But I don't want to lift that up. So I'm going to put this down here. It's super skinny. It's a 5mm washi. So you can stick it anywhere, really. Because it fits everywhere. I'm going to layer it. Oh, did I do this, like, crooked? Yo, am I, did I do this crooked? No, I didn't. I'll put it on the bottom. So the Monster Mash Party will be um, surrounded by foiled, beautiful foiled washi. Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty. And then I'll put some here. Um, I have a decorative planned in like a year. <laughs> this feels so good. This feels so good. I cannot even explain. Um, if you saw my last YouTube video, you know my story. You know everything that I've been through this year. This year has been very, 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 very hard. But... Alhamdulillah, it's like September now, and this year is almost over, and I feel like um, I'm finally kind of becoming more stable emotionally. I still feel like I need to go to therapy, but that's a whole other story for another video. Why did I even bring this up? Oh yeah, because I haven't decorated a plan in like a year. Um, I was just super busy last year because I was traveling, and then all that crap happened in January and then March, and then I didn't use my planner at all, so I feel great now, <laughs> decorative planning, it feels so good. Um, I shouldn't have put it off, I should have, I should have just done it, you know, but your brain, like, Place tricks on you when you have depression you don't your brain tells you like oh nothing's gonna be fun or nothing will make you happy so just don't even bother and just stay in bed so this whole time um, I didn't even think of decorative planning I totally forgot how fun it is because my brain played tricks with me. I really think I need, I mean, I know I need, I should go to therapy because I've just had to deal with so much. And then I have all this other stuff like from my childhood that I still carry with me. That looks really cute. Ooh, that looks so cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, so putting stickers down, I feel like is some is a type of therapy. It makes me feel so good. So let's do another checklist. This one has Puff holding his little lollipop and the detail is so tiny. I'm really like, I really love tiny details in artwork. So when I draw, I make sure I put little tiny things in there. So this one, if you like really look into it, like zoom in and look at it, you'll see the tiny little bat on his lollipop, which is right there. Um, and it prints really well on my sticker paper. So I have like, this little section. Should I put a half box? Will that fit? It will not. Hmm. Should I put up a deco sheet? Oh, or I could do do this one yeah let's do that 
So in page B, you get these. They, they're sized to be uh, used as headers if you want. But I'm going to put it down here and I'm going to do the full thing because there's two pieces. I'm going to put it down, line it up and put it down so it's like a tiny little scene. Yeah, so cute. Wait. Okay, my head might get in, in this shot because <laughs> it's so tiny. I have to like look at it very up close. There we go. I don't know if my head was in that shot. Hopefully not. Yeah, that's super cute. Okay. So, Monday. You know, the days just, like, blur by. So I don't even know <laughs> what I did on Monday. Uh, I always tell myself um, that I will... Every day I'll just, like, journal a little bit on a little notebook before I go to bed. What I did that day. So I can look back on it when I memory plan I say that all the time and then I forget and then I even put the little notebook on my nightstand um, and I still forget so I'll have to look at my Google Photos to see what I did on Monday but I do remember yesterday <laughs> so I'm gonna put this little flag down because I'm going to mark a very special day Yesterday was Mr. Modest Cat and uh and my anniversary. Should I do I'll do this one. I'll do this half box. So oh. Oh, I should do the half box first. Yeah. So it was our anniversary yesterday, but we worked because the PPC sale also started yesterday. So, ooh! Sometimes things just fly out of my hands. Which is why I need like a really, I always have a very good case on my phones. Because they just seem to, they tend to just jump. I don't know how, but they do. Yeah, I'm gonna have this little flag. Ah, okay, so I know what I wanna do. So I'm going to bring this sticker down a little. This paper is really good. It's really easy to peel off. And it's the sticker paper too. It peels off easily. I mean, you can't peel it off on a hobo. Obviously. But for this kind of paper, it peels off really well. And then... I'm going to use, where is it, oh it's on this page, I'm going to use this blank label box from this page, page D, right here, like that, I'm going to write two messages. Okay. I'm going to use purple, and in the small one, I'm going to write Alhamdulillah. Which means all thanks go to Allah. Thanks to God. Alhamdulillah. I actually have script stickers of Alhamdulillah in my shop. Oh no, I don't have it anymore. They retired. And then, I think I'm going to write it in black. Happy anniversary, that's what I'll write. Oh, that was a close one. I was like, oh no, I'm running out of space. This kit is not just, like, for me, I would not only just use it for Halloween. I would use it for any party. Like, my friend, she ordered it, and she said she's going to use it on her birthday week because of this uh, party spread right here. And when she said that, I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, this could be for any party. Because the mash, why does the Monster Mash only have to be for Halloween? 
I'm spooky all year long, so I would want to be dancing with monsters all year long. This is actually, uh, you can get these art pieces as full sticker die cuts, and they're printed on premium weatherproof sticker paper. Um, and you can see all the little details. You can see the shading. You can see the little lines on the cupcakes. I mean, when you go in person, you'll be able to see everything. This, I, I did like an actual like wood texture for the floor. You can see like the little disco lights shining out and glowing. So, yeah, it's slightly bigger than, well actually it's much, yeah, it's much taller and wider than the one that you get in the full box. So, if you want like an extra piece of the art piece, these are in the shop. There's other die cuts in the shop too. So I'm wondering if I should just put like a big old, wouldn't that be cute if I just put this on there? There's other ones. Because I, I feel like I'm not going to write that many plans. And then there's this one too. This is the cutest one. I think this is my most favorite. This is my little wonky haunted house. And you can see them partying in there. There's Puff. There's the Shine Sticker Squad. So should I do like Monster Mash inside? And then Squad like that. Yeah. That looks, oh, I love the jumbo stickers. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's happening. I just want to mark that PVC sale week started and that's it. Like, I don't know if I should use my little spider checklist. I feel like maybe I should. Or should I do a half box that says PVC week? So many options. So I have this one still from the full page, the full box page. And then I have these that are also really cute. So I'm going to do the purple one to mark that the PVC sale was this week, this day. And I'm gonna put a thankful four header because I am so thankful and like I'm so grateful to be um, in the PVC sale. I love Planner Boss Collective. And it was a goal of mine like ever since I started my shop. That was a goal to be in the Planner Boss Collective sale. And Ooh, come on, sticker. Alhamdulillah, I got selected. I'm so happy. So, uh, I'm definitely going to use a thankful for sticker. So, I do thankful for headers because I just, gratitude is such an important part in my life. And I just want people to just take a moment each day and just think of like, one thing even. You don't have to think of a, a bunch of things if you're just starting out. I just want you to think about one thing you were thankful for that day. That's what helps me get through even my worst depressive days. Gratitude. So I'm gonna write uh, Planner Boss Sale. Planner Boss Collective Sale. And I'll use pink. Thankful for Boss Collective and all the orders. So, all of you, my TMC family. Thank you for all the orders. I, I am just I'm just blown away by the amount of orders that I got for this PVC sale. Like I did not expect that much. It's so much that uh it's Saturday, so I don't know if by the time I post this if it's I already closed my shop, but I'm gonna have to close my shop to just process all the orders because there's so many. And I did not expect that many. So thank you so much. I'm just, I am so grateful. I'm so grateful for you all. Thank you. I, I sound like, I don't know, I get a little like, I get super shy when I want to thank you guys. Because I don't want you to think I'm dorky, but I really do love you all. I really do. Especially my YouTube family. You all have helped me through so much. 
through the past few years that I don't even think like I wouldn't have been able to get through some days without your comments. Ooh, don't cry, Bella. I am getting emotional. Do not cry. Okay. So I want to do another thankful for. I'm super thankful for Chelsea. Shine, Shine Sticker Studio for contacting me and asking if I would love like to collab with them. I just I'm still in shock. <laughs> I'm such a huge fan of Debbie and Chelsea. They're so cute. And I'm still in shock that they like my artwork. Like, I can't believe it. I met them at CPC this year in Chicago. And I also sponsored a table. I vended. I taught a class. I did everything. I taught a class, a doodling class. And then I also um, sponsored a table. And the people who attend the conference, they get to put in their preferences for what table they want to sit at. Like their top ten. And they put me as their number one choice. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll never forget that. I was just so in shock they came to my booth. I wasn't there. Um, they talked to Mr. Modicus's cat because I was, um, I don't know where I was. It's probably like working on the table or something. They came and asked Mr. Modicus's cat if he knows if they got my table or not. And he said yes and they were like super excited. I'll never forget that. Um, so I'll just write collab with thankful for collab with shine sticker studio they're the sweetest people ever and they're just so they're just so friendly and easy to get along with like they're so kind like you will instantly fall in love with them right when you see them I'm sure a lot of people can relate when you met them. I'm sure you guys felt the same way that I did. Like, I just easily fell in love with them. So, if you ever watch this, Chelsea and Debbie, thank you for picking me as your first collab. Can you believe that? I just got... It's their first collab. And she wanted to do it with little old me. Shine. so happy because I feel like our artwork is like meant to be together don't you think look how cute look how cute she looks next to my art <laughs> look at the squad they're meant to be so I hope I get to collab with them in the future because I have so many ideas For Christmas all the holidays I feel like Mallow and Puff should hang out with them all the time I'm sure they love it look they're having so much fun here I wish I could attend that party okay so thankful for collab with Shine Sticker Studio Planner Box Collected Alhamdulillah happy anniversary I feel like I should have some blank space I'll put in some of the boxes Get it right. Let's get it. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to do today. No, I'll do to do. I'll do a to do header. And then I really want to use one of the spider checklists because they're super duper cute. So I'm going to use one of the spider checklists from here. I, ha I put seven on these so that you can use it every single day if you want. Mm. And it's the size of a full box. So adorable. Oh my gosh, so cute. I'll do a thankful for header here. And then one of the half boxes. Like there's a lot of green here and there's like no green here, so. I'll do the green one here. 
I feel like putting some washi. I don't know. I just have an urge. So I'm going to use this washi again. Again, this washi is in my shop. It is in the Honey Dukes collection called Candy Shop. There's a section in my website called Potter. If you click on that, you'll find it. And if you just search washi, you can also find it. There's so many ways to find this. So, washi, half box. That's going to go there. Putting stickers down is so satisfying. I'm going to use the washi because I want more sparkles. It's amazing in person. It doesn't really like, it's so hard to photograph holographic stuff, hollow stuff. So you can't really tell. But in person, it is gorgeous. That looks amazing. That looks so good. So I'm going to put that for all the other headers. So I'm going to remove these. And then I'm going to put this just going across. sticker it's not the sticker it's my hand it's not steady it's always I always do everything crooked oh well oh well I was trying to like stick just to the kit but I really want the bat and I also want Frankie mellow you can get Frankie mellow like a whole sheet of her because she's just so cute in her little outfit so I made like the micro size and the regular size but then I also included one in the Spooky Squad and two in the micro one. Uh, and then you can get this also as a separate sticker, the, the baby bats. So I'm just sticking down more of this skinny washi because I love this holographic, pastel holographic stars so much. It changes colors depending on which way you're which angle you're looking at it from and it's so subtle it's it's so pretty it's like subtly pastel um, so I'm just sticking it down for the other headers that I'm not using if I wasn't going to use the jumbo sticker die cuts I would have used some more headers from the kit but I love how these jumbo die cuts look on here so yeah, that is it. So that's my memory planning spread. Oh, I love it so much. I think it turned out so super cute. I love how the washi um, goes with the kit. And I absolutely love the idea of having jumbo die cut stickers in your planner instead of using like all the boxes. So thank you so much for watching. I can't believe I actually like filmed a video and I actually planned. I'm so proud of myself. I hope you all are proud of me too. This is the first time this year where I feel happy enough to like actually decoratively decorate to actually decoratively plan. This is the first time in a long time that I feel happy and I'm I think you can see it through my artwork and the way I plan today. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new here and you liked this video, I hope you subscribe and join our TMC family. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.